as a patient, this research and this body of, of work and this preparation that these young people are doing, they're having some knowledge and awareness and understanding that will benefit my life. I feel so appreciative, I feel so grateful. What the students do is work with a, a staff mentor and we, they help us conduct our research. Without the students, I would have never been able to get it completed. The level of involvement is incredible. It's much more than just pushing papers around. Being able to conduct research and getting to learn about the different people and it just makes me want to help them, you know, put them first. Expression students were able to read and interpret our, our research and through their interpretation, they're able to express the results of our work, the importance of our work to, to so many more people. It's actually making our research come to life. In Expressions, we got like packets on information with different research topics, and then I chose the chemotherapy dosage in obese patients based on experiences I've had like in the past with chemotherapy, so I was able to directly relate to like my topic. I'm inspired by the fact that she can share her story through expressions and being able to push through everything to stay strong in school. I even talked to her before I said, you know, your teacher will let you not do that project you haven't, you know. And she said, no, I'm going to do it. I chose what I chose because a lot of people suffer from depression and anxiety and I feel like you never know how they got there, what makes them feel that way. Many of the students that participate in Expressions are not your outgoing students that are just going to share what's going on in their, in their world. But when I ask probing questions, I get a, a light that I see and they are willing to share and they are proud. I went through the entire list of all of the different types of research projects that were there were, and there were a ton of them that were very attractive to me. This was kind of one that not many people were doing, and so I kind of thought it would be interesting to take the road less traveled on this and kind of see where that led me. It's just amazing to hear the level of thought and maturity behind these ideas that are coming into place. Um, that don't necessarily happen with other projects and the sparks start flying and you just you just feel that fire. It makes you aim higher, you know, when you get when you get to the point where you conquer something that you were afraid of, that you had doubts about, it just makes you stronger. Kayla with her being a very on the surface, shy, quiet, reserved student, the participation in the Expressions program has um, given her an opportunity to see how her gifts, her talents, can you know regulate passion and get people to see a purpose or a meaning for something. I've always loved math and I, I enjoy learning more about it, but applying it to a real life topic, I always thought that was the best way to kind of see how math can relate to the real world. And so using it in expressions made me realize that every day in the medical field or just in different situations, everyone, doctors, even patients are involved in the whole math process. Throughout her journey, she didn't speak a lot about how she felt her emotions. So it was nice for me as a mom to kind of see her kind of touch that a little bit in her own way in this project. The project that I have as the final would definitely not be the same thing if it was just me working on it. Having other people give me tips on how things play out, it definitely helped me to be much more open to critique and corrections. They all are trying to figure out their purpose, right? They're all trying to figure out what drives them, they're all trying to figure out why they do, why they get up in the morning. And so when you start to talk with them about the idea, okay, how do you want your life to make a difference? and beyond again just, okay, this is a nice piece of artwork that looks pretty, but do you want to start thinking about the message that you send off to people, um, the, the level of craftsmanship that you put into your work, um, the way you want to present yourself, 
to the world and what you want that message to, to say to people. Expressions is helping students to see how they can make a difference, make an impact in their community. It's helping them to take the resources that they're learning about in school and connecting it with how it can be used to affect change in their community. And that's where you get that spiraling connection with um, others in an exponential format. Expressions has changed me by making me look at people differently. So now when I look at people, I try to read them and say, well, what could be going on in their life? Because you never know. And you can make anything for yourself. You can scribble down something on a piece of paper, and as long as that has meaning for you, then that's good. But what makes it even better is if it can be understood by other people. That is a very powerful thing. Through my statement, I felt that that's where I could share like my story the most. Keeping a positive mind will definitely help with your whole treatment outcome. And Sharing that through expressions, I felt that I was able to kind of motivate maybe some more people to look more on the bright side of things rather than the negative side. Ashley is a super strong, um, caring individual. And the journey through expressions just brought that to life in a project that brings math in and all these different people in her life. She shared all of that strength with everybody around her. This expressions program actually can improve the lives of, of individuals. We need to do everything in any form, shape, or fashion to reach our population. And this expressions program is actually allowing us to do that. The interns and researchers affecting my life or impacting my life, or my decisions or choices, or just even having me, again, knowledgeable, aware. How can I not benefit?